Yo, internet, what's good? Checking out Poison today. I'm about to get her trials out of the way and 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 her story. From what I've been, I've only played like four of her things so far, but you know, based on what I've seen, yeah, she's not on. Like, she's a bit more subdued than than what um, both Honda and Lucia were. But I do like her costumes, though. You know. Okay. Yeah, this right here, like, I always misjudge it because I think it's like, because I feel like that it's a, because, I, because I'm not expecting it to be so short, but, you know. But on to what she's all about. Uh, oh, crouching. Honestly, her, honestly, her standard combo is like they're not that bad, though, but, but she did lose her projectile, so... You know, you gotta be a little wary now. But she did get a lot of distance, cause like, she is pretty much a long range character now. Which technically she's just whipped, but, eh. Her shit's very specific. Jesus. I'm just saying, I don't say, I don't, I don't like that cancel com uh, combo. I really don't, cause it's kinda weird. But then again, it's a weird little little, 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 little mix up though. Got it. Whew, her combos are something, man. Like you need muscle memory for these. memory heavy so you got to get used to that other than that she's pretty much okay let's jump right into her story mode and see what she's all about because these final fight characters have been getting some real love lately poison at her best i really wonder what what her story is gonna be you know because you know with talks of their well at least at least lucia's story is like there was talks of, of the maggot coming back Cody kind of remin reminiscing about the old days. Hagar basically like telling him like, yo, like something bad is going on down. Even Zeku's going on. And it's like, yo, like, you know, like, like Metro City's kind of, so like, it's kind of bad. Like at the moment, like there's like, like that, there's like a looming evil and I need to make a brand new ninja set to, to uh, fight it and everything, you know, but poison. Well, you know, poison. She loves high heels. <laughs> And French fries, and she's a promoter and a, and a manager. My beautiful old city. Base idea. Poison, when did you get back? <laughs> Long time no see. How's the wrestling organization with Hugo going? Is everything good? Hi, Roxy. Well, it's coming along. <laughs> hey, Roxy. Where's the registration for that used car deal we made a while ago? Hmm? Oh, Poison, is that you? What's up? What brings you here? I don't know why, but this kind of puts a smile on my face to actually yeah, kind of see like fighting, classic enemies, man, like just meeting and talking and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so haven't seen you in years. So hey, like let's fight Abigail. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, like I get that in the stats, right? It says that poison is five, nine, and 115 pounds, which that's not 115 pounds. Oh shit. Why is she hitting with that? Which one do I even have on? <laughs> oh, 
I'll figure poison poison out eventually. But I, but I do like her look though. Oh, so she's just taking Abigail out. <laughs> so she started a fight because she wanted to um uh um uh, to take him out like um uh, up on the wrestling thing with her. Don't think that's his thing, though. Yeah, what happened to Hugo? Yeah, technically, man, like, um, um, you know, all the Bay Area enemies, man, have basically, like, just opened up, man, like, a car shop here, so, you know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Poison, Abigail's working very hard to manage the shop. He can even smile at customers like a real businessman. <laughs> he has an anger issue. <laughs> hey, boss, show us a good sales smile. A sales smile? Okay. Nice <laughs> customer. I will buy a car from him. Most like most definitely. <sighs> I'm sorry, Abigail. I was being selfish. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be a great business owner. Take care of Roxy, boss man. I actually like that though. It's like, eh. Well, this one kind of is saying like, 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 like that. There's a bit of a tension between uh, Poison and and uh, Hugo. So you know. Okay, so the Metro City Council. Huh? So they just so 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 they just throw me like in like like into a fight with Cody. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, it works. And and say and say and I got a combo out of it. Wonderful. <laughs> oh boy. Crazy though is like that. We weren't actually downtown. We were still like in the Bay Area though. So I was nice enough to recruit you for my organization. What are you doing? Why the hell would someone like you take on the mayor's job? <laughs> It just sort of happened. Yeah, it's kind of like he got, it's kinda like he got friends in high uh, places. It's actually crazy, man. Like that, that um, he's actually taking the job seriously. Actually. Hey, Lucia, what's good? <laughs> Technically, poison is not a thug, but okay. But there's no need to worry. We were just having a uh, conversation about the good old days. <laughs> That's what's going on. So uh, you can take things from here, Lucia. Pretty much. You got it, Lucia. Hmm. You know, I kind of remember you. I'm not sure. Didn't you go on tour trying to make some pro wrestling organization? Oh yeah, that's right. Cause Poison wasn't in Final Fight Three, so. Wasn't he named Hugo? So technically, she wouldn't actually know Nora, but she's kind of heard about her. To realize that you guys had a falling out. Hey, yeah. watch it now. I don't want any trouble. <laughs> Even if I wanted to make trouble, it wouldn't help. There are some things we just can't control. You could be born to a rich family, or to a family living in a garbage dump. Whether you're a man or a woman, <laughs> you can't choose how you're born into this world. Mm. Look at Hugo. He's a big blockhead who has no ability except to beat people up. I wouldn't say that, but you know. He was born to a fate of always fighting. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. 
In fact, I think Amea is kind of the same way. Still, it's not like I hate people who can't live on their skills or their smarts. Mm. We've already talked too much. Time for me to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of this is kind of like with a little bit of them rem of them reminiscing and going back like on the old days and whatnot. I do really like it though. Where the hell did this blockhead come from? What do you want? I don't need someone who runs away just to crawl back to me. Oh, hey, here you go. Still Bye. big as ever, I see. The worst ones are the ones who run away from the situation and never have the guts to face it again. <laughs> so if you got the guts, maybe you aren't the worst kind of blockhead I despise. True. You want a second chance? Fine. I heard a few rumors about them actually trying to put Hugo into the game, but I'm like, I really wouldn't have a problem with that. The only thing is, though, is that Hugo is like a inch short, like an inch or two shorter than that Abigail, because Abigail's actually eight feet. I think Hugo's like seven ten or seven eleven, you know. But yeah, like from the story modes in which that I've played so far, because I've seen. Because because I've seen Cody's, I I know what he is. I mean like I'm mean, like I've seen all of these stories. I know what they are. You know what I'm saying? Like because I have this on PlayStation. But um, uh, these stories for like Cody, Zeku, Lucia, Poison. Abigail is kind of just set dressing for Poison in terms of like what the Mag Gear technically, or it's like what like the few members from. Uh, from the Mad Gear who actually kind of went straight and whatnot like that kind of went like upon the straight and narrow You know like cuz again like for his you actually see slash say Axel slash uh, Again Roxy and himself like they all run that car business together or it's like that they run like a um, Like like a car dealership or something together or like a mechanic shop, you know poisons doing her wrestling thing with Hugo you know and Truth be told, is like, like based on what Lucia's story was going on about, where they were like, yeah, like, you yeah, say, so yeah, like the Mad Gear is actually up and running again. You know, characters like Damned, Eddie E, Relento, which I'm actually surprised that Relento was even still messing around with the Mad 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 Gear. I mean, and this and th this isn't even talking about like Sodom, Sodom, uh, Sodom too, because Sodom isn't necessarily even with the Mad Gear anymore either, because I think he's out. I think he's actually like running like a tempura shop or something like that, you know. But still, like if they were to make another, which is actually crazy because they put more effort like into the final fight guys than they did the Street Fighter guys, you know. I mean, like Lucia, Poison, Cody, Zeku, even Abigail, like to a like so like to a certain extent is getting is getting stuff that's like delving like into their character, whereas you get E Honda or name it like like Ryu or somebody else like that right and it's like what's their story well basic stuff you know what I mean it's like what's going on nothing e Honda gets gets a bath shop you know where basically he's talking about bath bath rules Cody's talking say Cody's reminiscing about the old days poison's reminiscing about like basically like her trying to become a better person and whatnot Lucia's story is well now you know like Metro City is basically like like uh, it's about to have like another mag gear attack and we got to stop it so you know it's really crazy but that is what i gotta say about that i'll see you on the next next john gray show sorry for all that rambling but tell me what you think about this in the comment section i'm out